My name is Alexander Park, but my friends just call me Alex. That's me, working hard, searching for my self-worth. <laughs> a single brownie or a piece of wedding cake will go straight to my thighs if I don't work it off in advance. I do love wedding cake. I do not my own wedding cake, because my choices in life seem to have ruled out the happily ever after love story thing. It's only in fairy tales, right ladies? Well, before you start feeling too sorry for me, it isn't like I live a totally loveless life. In fact, you could even say I would win Mother of the Year award. Not because of my own kids, but because of my life's passion at my activity center. I work with kids. I love them with all my heart and soul, and in return, they love me back. They give my life a sense of significance. I'll be honest, things haven't been easy lately. But no matter how bad things get, when I look at their faces and I see the hope in their eyes, who knows, maybe God has some sort of divine intervention for me. Maybe it's right around the corner. Good to see you. You are right on time. Let's grab a seat and get comfy. So did your mom drop you off? Yeah, she said she would come get me later. Okay, good. Oh, I saw you brought your journal. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. I give you almost as much homework as your teacher, hey? <laughs> good. Good. So tell me, what's been going on in your life lately? I mean, just problems at home. You know, my parents are always fighting and it's just hard for me. So Skylar, you are looking beautiful. Things are going well. Roxanne, hey! Wh what are you doing? No, no, go around. I told you before, use the door! <sighs> Roxanne, that's what doors are for. Who uses doors? Normal people? Boring people. Hey, all right, so I am breaking you out of this office for lunch. Okay. I was thinking our favorite Italian restaurant, the one with the really great mozzarella, mm -hmm. and the cute owner's son who has the hots for you. No, he does not. Yes, he does. You don't think I notice? The plates come out, yours is a little extra something something, mine, nothing. <laughs> Rox, you're ridiculous. A guy hasn't looked at me since... Oh no, do not bring up the Max this and the Max that. He went off to New York or wherever and it's been what? Two years? Two very long and lonely years? Time to plant a new garden, honey. I say start with some Italian herbs. So, since you have a really good look into the kitchen, how about you tell me when the Italian stallion comes into view? I am ignoring you. Oh, well, you could try to do that. Hi. Good afternoon, ladies. Hi. Welcome to the Pepper Mill. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yeah. I would like a water with no lemon, please. Okay. Oh, and um, a vodka martini with um, dirty with okay. three olives. Okay. Well, you know, make it a double. Okay. Yeah. What? Are you done yet? Mm. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'll please. just have a water. <laughs> Thank you. Water. What's wrong with water? It's good for you. <laughs> what? What now? I don't know, I was just wondering about what maybe you had planned for, say, the first week of the summer. Why, pray tell, are you asking? Because I have this vision of you with your cute little recyclable bag, heading into the used bookstore and filling it all up with $2 romance novels. And then sitting home on Friday and Saturday night after you get back from the gym to read them. You, my girl, are predictable and boring. I love you. I do. But you have got to get a little fun in your life. Capiche? Oh my god. It's him. What? It's him. Yeah, it is. Not him. What? Oh, that hurt. Don't stop. Why not? Look at him. He is like one of those statues in a fountain that you're supposed to look at. <laughs> He's beautiful. You're crazy. Come on. Just look at him. There he is. 
Just take a look. Take a look. You crazy woman. Mm. I am. I took a look. Oh, I just think Christian and I would be so perfect together. I'm sure you do. He just has the best smile on his eyes, don't you think? Yeah. Snap out of it, girl. He is pretty dreamy, isn't he? Guys, it's summer. We need to make a plan. I plan on watching every movie that hits theaters this summer. Yes, every single one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I plan on starring in my community's summer musical. Well, I plan on getting discovered. And when I do, I'm heading out to Hollywood. <laughs> discovered? I don't see any Hollywood agents banging down your door, Michael Bublé. And if they did come to New Orleans, they'd be looking for me. Ooh, or me. <laughs> this conversation is stupid. Well, the music I'm gonna make with this and the Grammys I'm gonna win, that's all that matters. Well, I'm gonna be like one of those big celebrities on YouTube and show kids that they can make a difference. Whoa, whoa, that got very deep. But on a brighter note, have you guys ever noticed my abnormally small ears? <laughs> hey, Mr. Small Ears, get over here. I wanna beat you in a game of foosball. <laughs> okay. I gotta be in on this. Count me in. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey. How's school today? They say school's over. It's summer now. Yeah, thank goodness. Wow, time flies. Summer already? Okay, we're gonna have to talk about posting new times for the center to be open, guys. My work hours may be changing soon. More patience than usual, Ms. A? No, the opposite actually, but yeah. Uh, a bunch of new hopeless romantics just like you guys. I mean, you gotta love us, Miss A. Oh, I do, Aldridge. That I do. Well, I've got some paperwork, so y'all have some fun and behave yourselves. Ever stop looking at yourself? And what's wrong with liking the way I look? Just seems a little self-absorbed is all. Well, if you cared about your appearance at all. <laughs> you guys, that was really mean. Yeah, not okay. You know what, Lexi? Not everyone is obsessed with their appearance like you are. You're one to talk? Little Miss Perfect Parker who always has to have her makeup done just right. Oh, is my mascara smudged? Do I look good in this shade of lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please stop fighting. I think I need to lose at least like five pounds. Mm, more like seven. <laughs> Guys, please stop fighting. It's okay, honey. Knock it off, okay? You're all beautiful. End of story. Yeah, if this was a beauty contest, I wouldn't know who to choose. Y'all are all drop dead gorgeous. Oh, give me a break. This is all pathetic. Stop trying to make her feel better. What do you think you're doing, Abigail? You know that Belle gets triggered with conflicts and fights like this. Well, you know what? What? She's had to grow up and face the real world one of these days. Look, this is supposed to be a safe place. Not a place where Belle has to face more trauma and get attacked by bullies like you. Oh, shut up! Hey, hey, no, you ain't gonna talk to us! You at that girl in the mirror Yeah, not everyone likes what they see Falling 
under the line of expectation And not liking that girl staring back at me Whenever you are alone, just know that we all are with you Cries are not unheard and you are not unseen Whenever you hear that sound, pick yourself up off the ground If ever they bring you down, we can build you up These walls that your fears have made, just help you to hide the pain But still through the storm and rain, we can build you up Honestly, is it worth it? Somebody tell me the purpose Being an image of perfection When nobody's perfect Why people do things Strange and inhumane And go through all this trouble Just to cause somebody pain It's wrong, point blank Stop, just think Cause this life is temporary Could be done in a blink Must we judge on race, class, and social case When you're all beautiful Life forms, carbon based Look at your heart, not your face So the truth can be placed God made us in his image That can never be erased And if you're lost without a home You will never be alone Take a stand, grab a hand Cause you're beautiful Whenever you hear that sound Pick yourself up off the ground If ever they bring you down, we can build you up Those walls that your fears have made Just help you to hide the pain But still through the storm and rain We will build you up Special person with quirky personality. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Get a storytelling. Magic. I got a magic trick or two. Balloon artistry and face painting. How hard can it be? Prearranged bookings. I like that. Pays 150 per event. Nice. Submit letter of interest today. Start working tomorrow. Paid weekly. Glenn at PartyMemories.com. Okay. Here you go, Glenn. You got this, Alex. How hard can it be? It's just a bunch of little kids. You like art. It'll be fun. My name is Alex. How do you do? Hey. I'm here for Hannah's party. Um, thank you. 
Hi, mermaids and mermen. How are you today? Good. 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 Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I heard that it's somebody's birthday today. Mine. Yours, you must be Hannah. How yeah. old are you today, Hannah? Five. Oh, you're a big girl. Do you brush your own hair? So do I. Would you like to see my brush? Yeah. I have it right here in my underwater mermaid bag. It's a dingle hopper. <laughs> Works like this. See? And not a dingle hopper, it is a fork. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. I guess y'all never saw a dingle hopper before. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you're not a mermaid, you're a human more than a fake tail. Well, I most certainly am a mermaid, young man. You know, we mermaids, when we dry off, we get legs. Then why not wear a dress and walk around on your legs? Why try to fool us with a fake tail? What do you think we are, gullible or something? We're kids, not idiots. Son, come here. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, <clears throat> why don't we try something else out of my, my mer bag? <laughs> Look guys, isn't this neat? It's uh, my magic empty <laughs> bag. <laughs> Doesn't it look empty? <laughs> Would you like to, to make something? Yeah? What lives in the sea, guys? Anybody know? Ooh, fish. That's right, fishies live under Crab. the sea. Crabs do live under the sea too. What else? Seahorse. Yes, seahorses live under the sea too, and so do mermaids. You know what? I think uh, it would be really nice to make you all a fishy balloon. Would you like a fishy balloon? Yeah. yeah. Would you like a fishy balloon? I want a seahorse. Uh, well, why not a, a nice blue fishy balloon? I want a seahorse. Oh, okay. Um, I'll try, sweetie. Okay. Come on, Alex, you can do that. Another big balloon. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I'll just make you a seahorse. Oh. oh dear. Yeah. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, look, hey. Look, it's yellow. It matches your bow. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Got it it's not that hard, right? Um, go like. This. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Hey. Uh, you know, maybe um, maybe I'll make the balloons a little later, guys. How about um, how about we do something else right now? Would you like it's to play a game? It's in my house. No. No. It's in my house. No. It's in your house. What, what would you rather do instead of playing a game? Sing. <gasps> Sing. 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 Um, Sing. I'm Alex, I'm here for Jackson's party. Hi, what a lovely dress. Oh, thank you, but it's so hot to wear. Can I get you something to drink? Lemonade, iced tea, a shot of whiskey? No, I, I'm good, thank you. I don't These drink whatever. These rugrats can be a mess. I, yeah, they, they sure can. Just point me to them and I'll get started. Okay. Kids, the face painter's here. You, you wanted to be a kitty cat? No. Oh. I told you I wanted to be a princess. Oh, sorry. It's just a little hard to hear with y'all. <laughs> and you wanted to be a kitty cat? <laughs> oh, and you, you wanted Spider-Man. Not me! Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted Spider-Man. What were you? Panda. Uh, panda? Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Don't wow. worry. I'll get you all done, I think. We're just gonna give you all numbers, okay? So don't worry, everybody's gonna get a turn. Just be patient. Okay, buddy, almost done. And you are a panda. <laughs> Do you like it? No. Let me show you. Do you like it? No. Do you like it? It's Mom, Spider-Man's not pink. What do you think, sweetie? I like it. Finally. What do you think? I like it. Oh good, I think I'm better at princesses. Oh man. Here, you're gonna look beautiful, honey. Just close your eyes for me. Glitter, everything looks better with glitter. What is she supposed to be, a scary clown or something? 
Mom, she made me look ugly. Cool, can you make me a scary clown too? Like her? Sure, why not? Climb on up. Okay. One scary clown coming right up. Are you feeling okay, honey? Your eyes are kind of red. Oh, man. Hey, can somebody get this kid's mom? I'm like some wet wipes. It's okay, sweetie. Just let it all out. So, so magical. Everything was magic until the magical went away. Less than a thousand in this account, and this one's drained. Sweet Jesus, help me. Look, if you want this place to stay open, I need a sign. I've tried everything. I don't know how to tell them. I can't put off telling them any longer. It's been so long since I've painted a song or dreamed in color instead of shades of gray. It's been so long since I've painted it seems like forever since I lost my way, yet there's new hope today. 
So color me a song and paint for me a melody sweet, a place where I belong, a place you know I want to be. Color me a song and paint for me a melody sweet, a place where I belong, a place you know I want to be. What are you doing? Yoga. Yoga. Rox, you don't do yoga. Yes, I do. It's just cute Yogi at the gym. He likes it. Okay, I cannot imagine that. Sitting still, that's not your thing. Yeah, it really isn't. But I'm on this ball in the park and this is really fun. So what's up? <laughs> okay, wow. Look, Rox, I just, I need to talk to you for a minute. I need to run something by you. Okay. Well, I have this crazy idea. I'm thinking of putting together a musical, like a show to fundraise for the activity center. I found out these kids really have talent. <laughs> what are they gonna do, have mood swings on stage? <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny. All right, tell me about it. Rocks, I'm serious, like, these kids can sing. It's not a joke. They're talented. It's like it'll blow your mind. And I was thinking, I need to contact Max. Wait, what? No, 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 no. See, I knew it. I knew you were going to flip out at me. Look, I know I don't need him, but I do need him. For the fundraiser, at least. Okay, I'm not going back down Max memory lane. You don't need him, Alex. You can do this on your own. He's good at that kind of stuff. And I promise, I'm going to keep it strictly professional, okay? Really? You promise? Gosh, Roxy, yes, I promise. Pinky swear? I pinky swear. Trust me, okay? Always. You got this. Love you, girl. Love you. Hi. Um, yeah, it's Alex. <laughs> yeah, long time. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Things are fine. No, no, I'm calling because, um, actually, I need your help. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Yeah, I know, I need lots of help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, seriously, um, my foundation is in a little bit of a pickle, and I think that you're just the man to help me out. <laughs> yeah, funny. No, but I, I have an idea. Um, I found out that my kids have a gift. No! No, not shoplifting. <laughs> no, Max, 
these kids can sing, like really sing. Alright guys, I called you all here today because I have something to share with you. Well, something to confess, actually. Our government grant was not renewed six months ago. And uh, I've been funding this whole thing out of my pocket ever since. I never took business school, y'all. Um, I'm not so good with the finances and we're broke. We're not gonna lose the center, are we? No, no, honey, not if I can help it. What can we do to help, Miss A? Well, you could tell me, why does this place matter so much to you? Why does this place matter so much to all of you? Justin. I want to say something, but I don't want you guys to judge me. Dude, don't worry. We're all family here. Yeah, we got your back, bro. The, the reason I want to be here is because I don't want to be home. My dad, he, uh, he has a temper. And he likes to take it out on me. At home, anything I do, it's not good enough. I can't ever make him happy. This, uh, this center, Miss Alex, it's, it's our home. And you guys are my family. Thank you, Justin. My dad died of cancer last year, and it broke me. <laughs> it's like, how do you watch the guy that raised you just fade away? But you guys accepted me and you were the shoulder I needed. That's why I'm here. Thank you, Hannah. My older brother and I, we were close. But when he was my age, he ran away from home and he got mixed in with the wrong crowd. Any drug you can think of, he did. He didn't have a place like this to come to. And that's what this place is for us. It's a place for hope. Ever since my brother was born, my mom, she, she hasn't been the same. The doctor says that it's postpartum depression. I just, there's not too many reasons for me to be happy anymore. I'm just, I'm so glad to have this place will bring a little joy into my life. You make us happy too, sweetie. Thank you. Abby, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just realizing that we're all in this together. In the third grade, I was bullied so much because I loved to sing. Even my friend said I sucked. I stopped singing altogether until I came here. It's okay, you're not alone. Me too. This place, it gave me my voice back. But I took out my frustration on all of you and I'm sorry. I, uh, I just come for the free food. <laughs> Guys, guys, thank you so much. Abigail, thank you. That was hard. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you all so much for sharing. This reaffirms in my heart why this place needs to stay open. It matters. This place matters. You know, I've been reading this book, 
It's called God's Calling. And in here, it talks about how each one of us is created with gifts and talents, desires for a specific purpose. I don't know if you know the story of Esther or not, but she was given the gift of influence. She was put in a very powerful position and it was scary for her to use that gift. It could have cost her her life, but the choices she made saved a nation. Would you be willing to be brave like she was? Would, yes. you, yes. would you use your talents and gifts that I've seen in you to fight for your home? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad. Mr. Max! Mr. Max! Max. <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh, Mr. Max, what are you doing here? You didn't tell him, did you? Uh, well, I was getting to that, and you're early. It's never too early to save the day. And also so humble, I see. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you, Mr. Max. I missed you guys, too. We've got some ideas here. Actually, Mr. Max, take away. Okay, guys, well, how would you all like to star in a musical written by moi oh, yes. to save the activity what? center? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, my goodness. Awesome. <laughs> no. I said they can have the space for $50 a square foot and nothing less. I have over $25 million invested in this property. Look, if they give you any resistance at all, you kick them to the curb. This is a business. If they want waterfront property, they have to pay the piper. I have another call coming in. Just get this deal done. Hello, this is Chandler Delahousie. No, Mr. Marcello. No. I fully understand the terms of our agreement. I just need a little more time, sir. Please, I will have you your money with interest. I promise. Thank you, sir. Take care. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That sweet little property down by the river, where that nonprofit's gonna go belly up. Let's see. If I can uh, get the demolition done for fifty thousand dollars, and I can pay planning and zoning and the site inspector one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, I can make a ton of money off this deal. Stacy, pull the car up front, please. I want to go see that pathetic little property down by the river. I need this to work. Max, thank you so much for dropping everything you were doing and hopping on that plane, getting down here so quickly. I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you. Well, I could have. I could think of a few things. Look. We have a lot to get done and not a lot of time. Strictly business, okay? You could suck the helium out of the Goodyear blimp, you know that. Guess I never was fun enough for you. That's why you ran off to New York, isn't it? Ran off to New York? I didn't run off to New York. You forced me out, remember? What was I gonna do, stay around here and see you around and act like I didn't have feelings for you? I asked you to come with me. Are you going to help me or not? Okay, boss lady, what do you need from me? If you could write a musical, something that would catch the community's interest, maybe we could raise enough money to save the center. But it would have to be quick. I'm out of time. So let me get this straight. Uh, you need me to write a musical like yesterday. Yeah. What about a budget? Stage crew. Stage manager, production crew, no. lights, no. stage. No, no, <sighs> Max, look, I know some of the logistics are out of order, but if you can just take care of the creative side, I promise I'll get the details in order. And what about us? I mean, what's in it for me? <sighs> there you go again. Been here like, what, five minutes? And already you're making this all about you, Max. These kids trust me. I cannot let them down. If we can't fix this, they lose 
everything. What do you want, Alex? What does your heart want? My heart? Max, if you ever really cared about me, please help my kids. I can't lose my kids. How much are you in the hole? <laughs> 60 grand. 60 grand? I know. Oh, boy, I'm Alex, sorry. you really, you got yourself into a pickle here without me, huh? Without you? <laughs> Once again, you are making this all about you. I don't know what I was, why did I even? You know, you say you know me. I don't think you do. I think I know you well enough, Alex. This was a mistake coming down here. I can see that now. You don't want me back. You just want to use me. Shame on you, Alex. Shame on you. Max. You, Alex. Max. Hello there, young lady. Hello, who are you? Hi, I'm Chandler Delahousie. I'm with Orlean Executive Towers. I'm here today to do a site assessment. Uh, pardon me, a, a site assessment? I'm sorry, I don't understand. 
Yeah, so the, uh, the bank gave me this pocket listing on this property, and I'm considering purchasing it at the end of the month. What? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is it not an unrecoverable debt? No! It most certainly is not. Hmm. This building is not for sale. If you'd be so kind as to exit the premises, I'd be very grateful. Okay. Okay. I'll see myself out, but I'll be seeing you real soon. Real soon, young lady. Look, Mr. Chandler, I already told you this building is not for sick. Well, so. Easy now. Um, did I miss something? Who is that man? That was. You know what? Never mind. It's not a good Hey, answer. hey, easy now. Look, Alex, I'm not your enemy, okay? I. I wanted to come back and say I'm. I'm sorry. I know the dream I dreamed of Alex and Max is no longer. I am here. I am your friend. What can I do to help? Really? Yeah. Okay, well, what would the first step of this musical be? Talent. We need talent. Can you maybe set up auditions so we can see what we're working with? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? The kids would be so excited. I could probably do it as early as this afternoon. Good. But Max, you gotta be gentle with them. Some of these kids, they come from broken homes, really rough backgrounds, and they're gonna wanna impress you. They really admire Mr. Max. So whatever they come up with, and I mean whatever they come up with, positive affirmation, okay? Yeah. Um... Kid gloves. Got it. So, let's see, you have a piano, guitar? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let's go check them out. All right, so which one of you juvenile delinquents want to go first? Max. I'll go first. Better to get it over with. Daddy wants the pipeline, mama teaches school. Uber drives a red truck, thinks he's cool. But guess where you'll find me at? Out on the stage, singing in my cowboy hat. I'm little, but I'm loud. I can sing anywhere till the sun goes down. I'm a country girl. Thank you, Hannah. Next. Grandma met Grandpa back in 1963 Underneath a big old pecan tree The rain started falling and just Super duper, Kaylee. That's a keeper. <laughs> Next. Catchy tune, but it's so 80s. You're so 80s. 
Next. Too late to fly back to New York. Max, what would Jesus do? Jesus would have given these kids talent. You know, there is talent in this room. You just gotta give them a chance. Why don't you show them what you're looking for? Hot shot. All right, guys. Alex and I are not trying to see if you can sing or not. We're just trying to see if you can convey your emotions from the stage to the audience. Well, how do we do that? I really can't tell you, but I can show you. Hand me that guitar. No. A thousand stars, but the one I wished upon to see your face again, tell you I'm sorry for letting you go. I need you to know. I'm sorry If I could touch an angel's wing I would fly to find you Bring you back home to me It's the only time I see you The only time I'll hold you It's the only heaven left for me when I'm on my knees And as I fall to my knees I'm asking Lord for your peace Help me seek, seek your face And in this holy place you have everything I need If I could touch an angel's wing I would fly to find you Bring you back home to me It's the only time I see you It's the only time I can hold you It's the only heaven left for me When I'm on my knees Gotta pull myself together for all I'm going through. Gotta need your direction of what I'm supposed to do. If I could touch an angel's wing, bring you back home to. It's the only time I see you The only time I can hold you The only heaven left for me When I'm on my knees When I'm on my No, come on in. Everybody's welcome. Show us what you've got. Let's get this show on the road. Forgive every failure that I've ever made Cause I've done all the work For all the hours I've practiced I'll show them what I'm worth If it's going to be, it's up to me I'll get straight to
Told you these kids have talent. <laughs> yeah, some of them. this work? Well, we got something. Let's go. Alex, this place is this place is really something. I'm impressed. Thank you. I know important people too. Hey 
guys. Are you having fun? Yeah, we are. Thank you so much for bringing us here. You are so welcome, sweetie. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying yourselves. You all deserve this. I love you guys. I do have to warn you, though. Um, later, there will be a cannibal contest. Just letting you know, I am forever champion. <laughs> yeah, well, I was a swimming champion when I was younger. I bet I could beat you in a race right now. I could take you, too. I would destroy you in a race. <laughs> it is on. Babe, don't get sunburned, okay? Lobster is not a good look for you. <laughs> good one. Look at them. They're having so much fun. Makes me happy to see them so happy. Makes me happy too. I like seeing you happy. Well, um, how's the play going on? And, uh, what did you call it again? Oh, it's, uh, one. Star Rising. Okay, so how is One Star Rising doing, and why did you call it that? Oh, it's, it's inspired after biblical movies and stage shows that I watched when I was a kid. When you ask for something clean and wholesome, I just took some of my favorite scenes from there and reworked them into the show. Been working day and night, though. You've barely given me a break. Hey, that's not me. I didn't ask for any all-nighters. That's all you. And hey, I even gave you half a day off. Told you to come have fun with us at the pool. Half a day off. I know why you brought me here. You just want to ridicule and harass me. I know you're in game. Well, I mean, you are kind of funny looking, so you make me look good. Don't be hating on all this. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, Max. The kids do really like you, and you're great with them. And um, I guess I kind of like having you around too. Of course you do. I'm Max Rothschild. Hey, um, excuse me for a minute. I think I better go talk to CJ. Okay. Hey, CJ. How you doing? You wanna go in for a swim? Why not? I don't wanna get sunburnt. Is that the real reason? Hey. Did I ever tell you about when I was 15? I went through a hard time, abusive relationship, you know. At one point, the pain got so bad, I felt like if I couldn't get it out, I wouldn't survive. So I started to, to hurt yourself. You're Miss Alex. I'm also human. How did you know? About me. I've been there. CJ. God's love brought me back. I don't think God loves me all that much. No, no, CJ, God loves you. Why would you say that? I did the whole church thing. You say, hey. I know the Bible says that God is my father. What kind of father lets their child suffer? It just feels like he's turned his back on me. I'm so tired of feeling worthless. I just want to I want to feel whole again. CJ, his love is so faithful. He takes you just as you are, 
but he doesn't leave you the way you are. His love is there when you wake up, when you open your eyes, when you take a breath, when your heart beats. Every minute of every day, he can love you back to wholeness. You really think so? I know so. I know he loves you. God is the one person that will never, ever leave you or forsake you. He will never judge you. He will always love you. I love you, Missy. I love you too. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> you know what? All these kids here, they love you too. If you ever need anyone to talk to, we're all here for you. Hey, uh, so we're uh, about to start the cannonball contest. Y'all wanna... Hey, CJ and I could be judges. Oh, okay, that's great. Hey, kids, we're about to start the cannonball contest. Come on. I'm so sorry, Mr. Delahousse. They refused to stop at the front desk and sign in. It, it's okay, Stacy. I know these two fine, upstanding gentlemen. I'm good. Thank you so much. Chandler Hollywood Delahousse, in the flesh. Howdy, boys. What can I do for you? Mr. Marcello would like his money today. I just spoke with Mr. Marcello last week. We have an agreement. <laughs> we have a special bond. Everything's gonna be fine, guys. Mm. I don't think Pretty Boy here is on the same page as the boss. Mind I should rattle his cage a little? Not just yet. Mr. Marcello likes his money on time. And let me tell you something, little man. If you love anything about yourself, your business, or whatever you do, you're gonna have that money today. Do you understand me? Are you hearing me? I hear you guys. Everything is crystal clear. Let's hope so. This is a great idea. Max, do you really think the kids are gonna be ready for tomorrow night? Yeah, I think they're as ready as they're ever gonna be. You know, I looked online, there are 681 tickets sold already. 681 tickets? That's more than I had at my last show in New York. You know, this endeavor may not save the center, but at least I'll know we did everything we possibly could. Yeah, we really did get this together pretty good, didn't we? You know, you and I make a great team. Uh, well, I really should thank you again. You, you didn't have to come and rescue me and all my problems. I kind of like being your knight in shining armor. It's worth it to see that beautiful smile again. <laughs> oh, sir, you make me blush. Seriously, would you like to take a walk on the pier? I'd love to.
Hey, Roxy, have you, uh, have you seen Alex? Yeah, she was here earlier, but she went back to the center to get the kids' presents for after the show. Show you back soon. Okay, thanks. Max, Max. Do you have the batteries for the wireless mics? Yeah, batteries. Um, okay, AV booth, under the console, on the shelf. Um, I think they should be there. Okay, I'll check them all, put the batteries in, and test them. Hey, wait, 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 before you go. Um, remember, we do need to label each one independently, each channel. Um, we can't have any mess ups tonight, okay? From your lips to God's ears. Thanks, Roberto. Good afternoon, Miss Park. I've been waiting for you. How did you get in here? Door was unlocked. I let myself in. Well, you're trespassing. This is private property. I'd like you to leave now. Not so quick, Missy. We have some business to conduct here. Listen, Mr. Chandler, I don't know who you think you are, but I already told you, this building is not for sale. Now, please leave. Well, come Monday morning, you will no longer own this property. The bank will. I am merely here as to assist your exit. Here. This is for you. Now get out before I call the police. That was not a wise move. Get out! After you. You should have taken the money, lady. Shame. Such a pretty woman. It didn't have to be this way. But I'm taking that teen center back from you. You just sit here and chill. Roxy, did, did Alex ever get back yet? It's an no. hour till showtime. I'm starting to get worried. No, but um, maybe she stopped at her apartment or something? Did you try calling her? I did. It just keeps rolling over to voicemail. That's not like her. Maybe I should go look for her. No, no, look, I, I got it, okay? Look, you and Roberto are gonna be in charge, okay? Not for, not for the whole thing, just at least until I get back, okay? You've got okay. this, okay? You've got this. You're in charge, but hmm. I'll be back as soon as I can. Huh. I'm in charge now. Alex, 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 are you in there? You sure picked a heck of a day to go MIA. You've got to be kidding me.
bank. I'm sure you're wondering what happened. This guy named Chandler, Del Husi, I think, he came by my office, offered to buy me out. I turned him down. Guess he didn't like it. Next thing I knew, I woke up in Center's freezer. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations as I have made of you, Peter, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Rabbi. Max. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tell the kids I'm sorry. Please. Tell them I never leave them. I never leave them. I had a choice. Please take care of my kids. Don't let the center shut down, Max. You know, I never told you, and I should have told you a long time ago. I love you. I don't just like having you around. I need you around. I never should have let you go. And I'm sorry I pushed you away. 
I'm scared. I'm an idiot. I didn't think that you'd ever understand. You know the time is among us, Mother. Time for my father's prophecy to be fulfilled as it was written. I know, my beloved son. You have given my life grace and meaning for 33 years. What is the Lord's purpose for me now? To be the echo of my word to all you encounter. Use your faith and strength and shepherd in what must be done for all humanity to survive. I know you have it in you. I know. But my heart's desire has always been on you, my son. What will heaven be like? Everything you expect and more. Wonders beyond belief. A divine eternity of grace and fellowship with all that is good and right. And I will be there waiting for you. It is time to rest now. Alex.
heaven will I be scared or be prepared will I be scared I got it I got it I got it how long has she been down for I don't know Here, help me get her jacket off. She doesn't have a pulse. Come on, Alex. Sorry, I think she's gone. No. No, she's not gone. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Okay, prepare to shock. One, two, three, shock. Still no pulse. Okay, prepare to shock again. One, two, three, shock. Okay, I think I feel a pulse now. Alex! Alex, can you hear me? She's waking up. Let's get her on a little bit more oxygen. Oh. You, you died. But you came back, baby. So cool. Max? Yeah? Do you love me? You know I do. Really? Yeah. Please, take me to see the kids. Now. How, uh... How fast does this, this go? Top 75 miles an hour. I think that'll be fast enough. Father, why have you forsaken me? My mind is weak and my heart is sad. If it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Nevertheless, let it be your will and not mine that will grant this stay. I cannot see you, but I can feel your presence. I am here, Lord, as a beacon of his love, strength, and perseverance. I shine upon you and will not leave you until your deed is done. I know now, Father, what I must do, and it is well with me.
long story. We'll explain later. Sorry. Really? Really? Are you the man they call Jesus of Nazareth? So-called King of the Jews? I'm the man you seek. Take me to do my Father's will.
feeling okay? I am fine. We missed half the show. Be quiet. Yeah, because of the thing called your death.
the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life 
For God did not send his son into the world to be its judge, but to be its savior. And upon the third sunrise, Jesus rose from the dead, refreshed and victorious. Mr. Benson would like a word with you. That's the billionaire owner of the football and basketball team. <laughs> I want to weigh you once. Are you the person in charge of all of these great kids tonight? I am, Alexandra Park. And uh, you are? I'm Mark Benson. I'm a local businessman and a patron of the arts. I just wanted to come backstage and, and tell you guys, y'all were terrific out there today. Y'all really blew me away. Thank you. I'm very proud of each and every one of them. When I was a young kid, I went out for my school musical, and I, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was Godspell. I was a shy kid, and I, I had never sung on stage before that time. But I went to auditions, and I said a little prayer. Do you know what I prayed for? Not sure I entirely follow. What I prayed for was that God and the Holy Spirit would somehow take over my body and mainly my voice and just let me not embarrass myself in front of my classmates. Did it work? The next day, I went to the bulletin board and I took a look at the cast sheets and miraculously, they cast me as Jesus. Me as Jesus. Now, my mother, she was so proud and we decided not to share my love of dramatics with my father. The whole show is a blank to me now, but when I was up there on the cross singing my final song, like, like Juan, I saw him in the audience, and he was crying. He was ashamed? No. He was crying tears of joy. Wow, that's a, 
That's an amazing story. My name is Max. Uh, I wrote this uh, wonderful musical you saw tonight. Well, it's a pleasure to meet both you, Alex, and you, Max. And tonight, the two of you reminded me of that very special evening so long ago. Now, as I understand it, y'all run what y'all call a teen activity center? Yeah, I, I used to. Kids, y'all deserve a place much nicer than this. Y'all were just spectacular tonight. Thank you, Mr. Benson. That, that means a lot coming from someone like you. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for all of you. I built a brand new state-of-the-art performing arts center. I want to give it to you and to the kids. The same guy that empowered me on that stage 35 years ago and helped me through that situation that y'all all reminded me of it this evening would have it no other way. The building's yours. Uh, 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 well, I, this is too, I don't know what to say. This is too much. I, I can't take this, sir. Why not, Miss A? Yes, why not, says the angel of God. <sighs> Alex, this does really help us out. I mean, isn't this why we held this musical tonight? <sighs> Thank you. Well, who gets the keys? Give it her, definitely. Thank you. I'll tell you what else I'll do. I'll go ahead and I'll prepay all of the insurance and the taxes for the next 50 years so you don't ever get a bill in the mail with this new Santa. You know, you made all this possible. I did, didn't I? We make a pretty good team after all, don't we? What do you say? Do you want to hang around and see what we can do with this state-of-the-art facility? I'd love to. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was blind, but 